Hey guys, Josh here and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. So, we are finally now heading towards the final area, possibly. The Journey to Meridian is our next quest and we're heading back to the Nexus. We have basically done everything apart from movie night, um, which I think will trigger the next bit soon. For now we're going back to Nexus anyway. We have a little side thing there to do with Kerry as well. So we'll do that while we're there. Um, but yeah, we're getting really close to the ending, I have a feeling. Um, I still don't quite know, though. And I've managed to resist. Um, it's been about two, three weeks since it came out now. Because um, I haven't been playing this all the time. Although I've put about 50 hours into it. I've been playing other stuff. And working on that. So, yeah, like... I've been managing just about to avoid spoilers. I've seen hints of, like, I've seen pictures of the final area, but I haven't seen anything story-wise. I mean, nothing story-wise, which I'm quite pleased I managed to avoid. Because, yeah, I managed, I get, I got, I had the um, ending of Mass Effect 3 spoiled because, well, it was fucking difficult not to get that spoiled because everyone went mental about it online. So, literally, every video to do of it and every. Games forum and Reddit and everything at the time was just going mental about it, so it was very difficult to avoid that. But yeah, got a few things to do here. Helping carries one of them, so yeah. All three arcs are there now. Thing is that there's space for at least one more. Which I'm guessing is the possibly the DLC. I think it's going to be a DLC. We know there's a Hanar and Quarian and um, Drell one coming. I reckon, and plus other races. I reckon that'll be like the last one. It's like a bit of a mix of all the other races. So we might see some Volus and Elcor and all that maybe popping up. And I think that'll be the DLC, um, which will be their arc turning up and which clips onto the other side, which would be cool. Apparently there's a quest right in front of us. Is that the one for Kerry? Yeah. Right. See, this is a task, but it's interesting. Hey, it's me, Kerry's producer. Right, what's happening? Haki, Kerry's producer. I'm the one making you look stunning for the documentary. There's a hitch. Kerry's been arrested oh, for conspiracy sake. to incite unrest. She's in a cell at the militia headquarters. Any chance you could stop by? A visit from you might shake things up. Okay. Remember, Kerry's down in the militia cells. Probably What's she been up to? Let's pop in the bar before we go down. Possibly for the last time. I've yet to manage to dance, and I've seen somehow you can dance in here. What the fuck is that music about? A little chat, shall we? How are you guys? That's yours, Nexus. Looking good there. Things are tense around the pub. But not like that first 14 months, thanks to us. I think they raised the drink prices, though. <laughs> Bastards. One villain at a time, Liam. Priorities, Pathfinder. The music's you alright. When I come in, it sounds churchy, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, I've seen a gif. A gif. A little glyph, a gif of um, Ryder dancing. So I'm not sure where that is. Missed it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out later on. Maybe it's in the story. End of the story, they'll go for a bar for a drink. Alright. If I had to carry in the malicious cells. What when the fuck Sarah's supposed to wake up? We know she wakes up at some point. We've seen it in the trailer. Let's wake up like right before the end. She's like, what have I missed? William Spender, Assistant Director of Colonial Affairs, has been fired after he was caught stealing supplies from the Nexus. Spender chose to leave the Nexus right. rather than face sanctions. His whereabouts are currently unknown. This is HNS. I'm sorry, ma'am. We're just trying to figure something around. Oh, hey Ryder. Hakim said they arrested you over the documentary. Guess I tweaked the lion's tail too hard. A crowbar, some gum, a nudge from Sam, and I could get you out. I'm right here, hero. Trust me, this is safer than exile. You know, 
they've had other people in the cells. Rioters, people crying and scared. Me and my truth did that to them. Imprisoning a vid maker for her work seems historic. Too bad no one recorded it. <laughs> they took my camera, but I was scribbling a few notes. Maybe I could use this. Thanks for coming, Ryder. I I'll send word if anything changes. Okay, wait for... All right, I guess that's after the next mission. I don't know how many more missions there are, that's the thing. Right, um... Paralysis site here. Apparently, up here, maybe? What's this? Tan's office? Hello again. They're waiting for you. Careful. Oh, right, yeah, of course, the main mission. Of course, you approve. Ryder saved your people. Ryder saved sure. our people. It doesn't matter if they were Salarians, they were citizens of the initiative. But it doesn't hurt if there's a few less Krogan around, does it? <clears throat> the Pathfinder. Ryder, we were discussing how things ended with the Archon. Kesh, it's true I had to leave some Krogan behind. I'm sorry about that. You've already done your part for us. That's more than I can say for others. Yet I have to question what we gained, provoking the Archon like this. He had a map showing the location of Meridian. Now we have it, and a short window to get there. It's the control center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Based on what data? This is all alien science. The vault on Aya suggests that Meridian is the key. While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the Cat. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. If we do nothing, I guarantee there's a fight coming. The Archon's already studying how to exalt us. It's not pretty. Still, it's better to focus on the outposts. If the Ket attack, at least our people won't be in one place. Then there's this Sam of yours. We took a chance letting AI get involved. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable with just how involved it's become. I'm grateful, Ryder, but I can't support your plan. Then I will. And so will I. I agree. Ryder deserves a chance to try. I applaud the gesture, but you answer to me. I hope you understand. What's the matter, Tan? Don't want anyone else overshadowing you? It's not called the Pathfinder Initiative. The chain of command has to be respected. That is all. Why am I surprised? I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. Pathfinder, apologies. There was an urgent message for you. They said your sister is awake. What? Go. We'll talk later in the tech lab. Okay, she's finally awake. Got to tell her about her dad. Can't keep that a secret anymore, can we? She can be pissed with me. Sarah. You lied to me. You said Tad was alive. Oh, Sarah. Why? I didn't know what it might do to you. I couldn't jeopardize your recovery. Yeah, but delaying the truth... Meant I'd be here for you when you heard it. We're all that's left, baby brother. I know. But two riders are more than enough to take on this galaxy. You got a head start on me. What's this about you being a Pathfinder? Yeah, Dad's crazy idea of a joke. From the sounds of it, you're going to need all the help you can get. Careful. No way are you fit for duty, miss. That stubborn skull of yours needs a chance to heal. Says who? 
The Pathfinder, that's who. Time to rest up. That's an order, Specialist Rider. Oh, yes, sir. Pathfinder, sir. <laughs> oh, oh, who are we kidding? <laughs> I saw you eat your own boogers when you were six. If you two want to catch up some more, that's fine, but no getting out of bed. <laughs> Ryder, this is Pathfinder Ricks. We have some ideas about Meridian. Come by the tech lab as soon as possible. Okay. Will do. I right, told Sarah first, of course. Hey. You're probably wondering how things have been going. Yeah, feeling a little out of it. I know you're Pathfinder, but not much else. Did they make you president of the universe, too? <laughs> Well, the big vote is tomorrow, and I'm here to make sure every comatose patient has their say. Vote Ryder. Ha ha. So what have you really been up to? In a nutshell, we found an alien terraforming network that spans the cluster. We're going to reactivate it at some place called Meridian. Wow. Is that all? Nope. There's also a race of aliens called <laughs> Death that wants to turn all of us into them, and their leader, a guy named Archon, wants me dead. All right. Maybe taking a long nap wasn't so bad. You should know. Dad was keeping some secrets from us. How do you mean? First off, Sam's a lot smarter than he let on. Also, his connection to Dad, and now me, is way more powerful than the other Sam's. I never knew that. What was Dad up to? Dad encrypted memories in Sam. I've started unlocking them. What were they? You, me, and Mom. You saw her? In the hospital, the day she passed away. And at that reunion dinner she twisted our arms on. Right. Awkward. And something else. Dad meeting with a benefactor back in the Milky Way. Some initiative power broker I'd never heard of. Me either. Weird. Yeah. Still trying to figure out what it all means. I thought maybe we could talk about mom and dad. What about them? Thought you might want to know how dad died. I've been wondering. First planet we landed on. There was an atmosphere processor. It was malfunctioning. Dad managed to power it down. Saved us all. But there was an accident. My helmet broke. I couldn't breathe. And then dad gave me his. He sacrificed himself. Only one of us could make it, and he didn't hesitate. He was a hero. I remember the stories about Dad being an N7, the things people said he did in the military. I guess it was true. You should have seen him in action. He was incredible. Good. That's how I'll remember him then. What do you remember about how they met? As mom tells it, he was doing his N7 training on Earth. She was a scientist working on biotic implants. He was trying real hard to pull off a bad boy in uniform thing. And failing. But she thought it was charming and struck up a conversation. Dad mostly just grunted. She finally had to ask him out. Our dad, the ladies' man. Then he went off to fight the first contact war. When that was over, we were born, and Dad was posted to the Citadel as an attaché. What do you remember about Mom's biotic research? That was back when biotic abilities were a total mystery. She was a pioneer, helping people cope by designing implants. It's what made her sick, though. People got all sorts of weird diseases from ESO exposure. What do you remember about growing up on the Citadel? Giant space city filled with every kind of alien you could imagine. I remember trying to play hide-and-seek with some Hanar. It was no fair because they could float. <clears throat> Looking back, it's probably why I'm here. I saw how mind-bogglingly enormous the universe really is. It's a stupid question. I don't know why I'm going to ask it. Feeling homesick at all? Well, all I've seen so far is this Met Bay. We could still be on Earth for all I know. <laughs> but yeah, before we went into stasis, I was missing my life, or at least the idea of it. Which part do you miss most? Looking for Prothean artifacts. My team was a special exoarchaeology unit, fully funded and sanctioned by the Alliance. 
My job, as in they paid me to do it, was to help dig up more artifacts and learn whatever we could from them. If things hadn't gone sour, it would have been a great life. What was wrong with how things really were? Well, Mom was gone. I'm not sure I'll ever fill the hole she left. And Dad, it hurt him more than he let on. Plus, his research on Sam was illegal as hell. He was trying to save her, and maybe the Initiative looked the other way, but the Alliance didn't. After they discharged him, whenever people found out I was his daughter, door slammed in my face. Being Alec Ryder's kids in the Milky Way, we were in for a lifetime of dreams that were never going to happen. Well, I should let you rest up. Yeah, only way to recover from a coma is getting more sleep. <laughs> it won't be much longer. At least take some pictures of Meridian for me. I can pretend I was there. Okay. Right. Let's have a look what we got. So much of stuff. <laughs> Let's cross our options then, with the other Pathfinders. And we're going to find this place, see what it's about. Where are we going? Up here? Discuss your options. Where are we discussing them? Over here? I don't know if we've been in here yet. Is this a new area? Oh no, tech lab. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ryder, good to see you. We've been working with Dr. Aradana and her team on the problem of getting to Meridian. We think we have the answer. I'm listening. It's plans for new technology we've designated Ghost Storm. Okay. When you approach Meridian, our own ships can broadcast fake returns for the Tempest. The Ket won't know which is real. It will confuse their sensors and draw their ships off. It could buy you some time. Sounds like this has never been tested. What if it doesn't work? You're clever. I'm sure you'll figure something out. This means going against the initiative. We're on our own. You didn't hear that. Hear what? We've been collating gamma charts all day. A risk comes with the job. Part of being a pathfinder. Sure, if they'd pay us once in a while. Not likely after this. First, you'll need to research the ghost storm technology. Then we'll rendezvous at Meridian. Good luck. Pretty cool. That's four together. Cat technology appears mimetic, taking designs from different sources to improve their own. It is a familiar pattern. Observe, conquer, incorporate. Okay. I cannot speculate, Professor. We should anticipate oh, what? Okay. learning from and incorporating. Oops. Oh. Right. To the Tempest then to get this technology. I imagine we'll get emails and shit flash up about next steps on stuff probably. Thingy wants to see you. Thingy wants to see you. You have an email from Thingy. PV wants to fuck you. Oh, did I say that? <laughs> Someone talking on the Nexus for fuck's sake. Ryder, could we talk a moment? Okay, can I? You have new email at your yeah. Pathfinder. Anyone else want to talk to me? I'm all ears. No? Alright. What do you want, Keller? Ah, there you are. I was wondering, when you found the Solarian Ark, was anything strange? Out of place? 
You mean besides the exalted Krogan, the relics, and getting jabbed in the neck? Why are you asking? Because a few hours ago, we received this. Hello, Ryder. I don't think the Solarian Ark was captured by chance. If you want to know more, meet me at these coordinates. What? That's all. Do you think it's some sort of hoax? Now that I think about it, a Ket Armada just stumbling across the Solarian Ark seems a little convenient. Coincidences do happen, though when you put it like that... I'll put the coordinates for this meeting in the nav computer. I suppose there's no harm in making sure. Hmm. Okay. Imitation pathfinders only. Sounds pretty interesting. Cool. And from Kelly. Okay. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. I guess let's go check out this thing quickly. Which sounds intriguing. Then we'll go to this Pathfinder only thing, which sounds very interesting. Uh, da, da, da. Here we go. All good. Let's go. Entering atmosphere. LZ in sight. This guy down here. Oh, that's a long way away. Okay. Who the fuck is it? And why are they all the way out here? Okay. Task I picked up. This shotgun's cool. If you hit them. Oh, 
Alright. We go with the up here over or hang on. Those are the coordinates we were sent. In that message about the Solarian Arc? So are we checking it out? There's cat all over. Shit. So long. <coughs> oh, he's alive. Fucker. Look around. They might have left something. Was that here just a fucking ambush? Okay. From their gear, they were hoping to capture someone. Probably me. Sorry about that. Though, if you'd broken a sweat, I'd be sorrier. You sent us the message about the Solarian Ark? Yes, Major Salen Vaughn, STG, retired, of course. Espionage is a job that follows you home. Or across galaxies. Until there's nothing for it but to grow a conscience. Let's be frank, there are too many inconsistencies aboard our Ark. They only make sense if someone betrayed us to the Ket. <laughs> My best suspect is a biologist, Dr. Adden, but the evidence is thin. I need a Pathfinder to verify what I've found, or I risk arresting an innocent man. Who's Adam? Why would he betray his Ark? An ex-military biologist from the early wake-up team on our Ark. He claims to be studying the cat. As for why, I intend to ask him. All right, I'm in. How do we catch your traitor? I only have two leads left. Dr. Adam's equipment and a cat who might be his handler. I need you and your Sam to analyze them. Okay. If you show Dr. Adam's in regular contact with the cat, that would prove he's the one. What if the evidence doesn't implicate Adam? If I'm really that rusty, I suppose I'd have to start over from scratch. Uh, remember, Dr. Adam's equipment and his cat contact. This has to be watertight. Good luck. Alright, who's that then? Vold. Okay. Okay, it's another planet helper. <laughs> we'll get to Meridian eventually. <laughs> Fuck's sake. It's a crazy amount of content they just keep throwing at me. It's like, you think you're done? And then it's like, nope, here's more. I'm actually, while we're here, let's double check. Any memories? No, no memories here. We'll double check Vold. We checked Eladim. We checked Kadara. Um, the only place this is that asteroid. But I'm starting to check that. So yeah, we have no more memories to find. So it must be Meridian. Check in a second. Okay. 
get to Vold and have a look. Good. That, that actual gun isn't. It's fun to use, but it's not powerful enough. I have to look in my crafting soon. Either crafting new one or um, maybe buying one. Let's have a look. Let's buy some more Cobra rockets as well somewhere. Okay, let's see where we're going in a second. Right, we're going to over here. Oh, what? Oh, of course, yeah, two places. What's that? No memory points. I'm missing sensitive data apparently. Oh yeah, that's for the badge thing. Is that all here? Well, a few of them are anyway. We'll do them while we're here then. But let's go do them now quickly. Yeah, let's go go here and do those quickly. Might as well. While we're here. It sounds pretty cool, basically becoming like an Ungar and N7. Technically then I feel like I've earned my N7 armor in a way, if I was to wear it. Right. Whee! I love this agility mode, it's pretty cool. Wow. The remnant took over. Let's check it out. Can you believe oh. that lady at the vortex? Shoving her way to the front of the bar? I'm an Asari. By the goddess, I'm too beautiful to wait in line. <laughs> the time wasted might take up a millionth of a percentage of my life. <laughs> hey, at least it wasn't a Turian, huh? The rules didn't tell me what to order. So I just waited forever. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to have to take some pics of this for Sid. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Are we on point? Almost. What are we doing here anyway? Which one are we doing? Battle the Remnant. I don't see any Remnant. Looks like the cat got here before us. Oh, this is the advance thing. Let's go. Ah, you found your first beacon. Ready for a taste of Heskar training? Okay. Give me your yeah. best shot. This one's straightforward. A test of combat efficiency. The beacon will agitate the remnant. Take them down quick. Maybe you'll beat my personal best. <laughs> Fifteen minutes. No, five minutes to defeat fifteen remnant. Remember, take them down as fast as you can. I don't think we're done here. Thank you. 
There'll be more. This is pretty easy. Oh, hello. Give me that, but fuck it, we'll try it out. Ow. Right, I get it. Oh, he's, he's mine. We're basically done. A few more small enemies, we're done. Oh, nearly. Shut down. It. That beats in Drachnor's count. <laughs> Yay us. Excellent. We learned early on to make every shot count. That was pretty cool. Right, so where are we going now? Back this way basically. Put a direction on so we don't get mixed up. Here's that one, yeah. Where it was. Oh, fuck. Manual says the nomad's good for all weather conditions, but they did those tests in the Milky Way. <laughs> I'm detecting below normal temperatures. Psst. Keeping timing, Sam. Okay. Maybe the rest of the team and I have agreed not to ride you about Kalinda. That's okay. It's not a sore subject anymore. Getting close to the Kent Command Center. Is this? There it is. I don't know what this one is. Is it a ferocious creature or sensitive data? Normal temperature range, but. Back for another Heskal challenge. I have a test of subtlety. Get into a kit base and download a full copy of its files. Okay. Sounds pretty simple. That will do for this one. We'll switch to our thingy build. The temperature is falling, Pathfinder. Click around then, can't we? There's not even anyone here. I don't know what's. There we go. I need that, mate. There we go.
Okay. Right then. Awesome. Stay alert. There'll be more. I'm going back to thingy. It looked like we were just going to sneak around and press buttons, but because we're actually fighting a lot of enemies, I need my crowd control. Leave it down. There we go. Shit. It's been so long ago since the race start when I tried using the sniper and just absolutely failed. Pulling out down. Okay, just fuck. Fuck those. Oh, push to the next point. Take them like half the time to hack that for them to even get to me. Fucking cool. Beatings and no man's taken with me by axes. Fuck it, let's go. Nice field, everyone. Don't worry. I'm not blinking. If there's something to see, I'm gonna see it. You'll see. Maybe look with <coughs> your eyes, not your mouth, huh? <laughs> right, it's fast chop over here. Where's he gone? Uh, fuck's sake. I'm not in combat. They don't even know we've left. <laughs> Fuck. 
Might as well drive halfway there pretty much. Come on. Hey there. Woohoo, nice to be there then. Yeah, I want to do this mission. I know it's a bit, it's not that difficult, it's just fun combat and all shit. Oh, it's the only thing we're going anyway. Oh. Oh fuck, are we stuck in anything we falling? Oh, okay. I think we're supposed to come down here, it just didn't matter where we were falling. Um No, I think we're supposed to be back up there. Fuck, can we get up there? Come on. You can do me, I'm mad. Come on, if you can. Awesome. Where is it? Phoebe, what's your full name again? Peanut Butter? My full <laughs> name is Peanut Butter. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> um, where's this fucking thing? Apparently it's like... Over there. Which is down here. Careful. That's gonna... There we go. Apparently it's up above us. Looks like... It's just a waypoint. There it is. The ancient ferocious creatures. Okay. Rider, back for another Heskal challenge. There's a gigantic fiend nearby. Let's see if you can hunt it before it hunts you. Okay. A fiend. A fiend. Oh my god. Shit, this is gonna be a bit of a tough one. Out. I got I got cray out man. I've got I ain't got any cobras. Shit, I have no cobras. I think I bought them though, maybe I need to equip them. Well I'll freeze you fucker. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> okay. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Uh one lily down. One down. Let's just pick up for a second because I need to. Right. Um, bees make some shields. Okay. Damn that. Oh my god, what the fuck, the camera's fucked then. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right. 
Come on, we got this. Alright, one more. Oh, fuck, hello. Alright, here we the chance to heal, you fucker. Concentrate fire. We got this, we got this. Whew. <laughs> oh my god. That was fucking tough. The fun.